This is Jupiter Today for the 3rd of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede starts the day transiting Jupiter and going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. At 1.15 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,536.7 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO is about to be moving behind Jupiter, and I'm going to be moving into quadrant 1, heading east. Ganymede has now finished transiting Jupiter, and is now firmly in quadrant 3, heading west the rest of the day. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has passed its eastern elongation, and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has passed its eastern elongation, and is now joining Europa in quadrant 2, heading west. And at 2158 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, and that's 677,260.7 kilometers. And then at 2231, EO goes through a perigee, that's the closest distance it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. So we get an apogee and a perigee in the same 24-hour period today. That distance is 420,029.1 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is firmly in quadrant two, heading west, just passing Europa in its orbit. Ganymede continues in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto is going to be in quadrant four, heading east. There are five Jupiter satellite events today. At 106 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. At 224, the transit of Ganymede ends. At 445 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. At 518 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 811 UTC, EO reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. And there's one satellite mutual event today. That goes from 4.05 to 4.10 UTC when Ganymede occults EO. It's a 5.5 minute event with a very, very shallow impact parameter, or very, very steep impact parameter of 0.028 arc seconds, and a nice deep magnitude flux drop of 0.567, and it's gonna be 20.41 arc seconds from Jupiter. orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So these are the same orbits that you saw before, Eo, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, and I've just connected the same times in order to get these interesting structures. So there's the connection between Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, that's a nice little twist there, and Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto, and then I combine all of these and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter's sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees, and we're just going to see what's happening in Jupiter's sky over the next 24 hours. Eo is slowly going to be catching up to Europa and passing it. We might see that on 
the next rotation. Eo just went into Jupiter's shadow there. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 8.03 and the second at 17.59 UTC. Got a new image emailed to me today. And there was some new radio data as well. and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, eight minutes, 44.3 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 26 minutes, 44.2 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the sun as seen from Earth is 152.541 degrees, and that's 1.109 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 4.912 degrees, and that's 0.185 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 664,311,923 kilometers, and that's 1,094,862 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 45,619.25 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,704.75 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter is 798,799,934 kilometers. And that's 45,264 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,886 kilometers per hour. And that's 3.13 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 336.22 degrees, CM2, 166.27 degrees, CM3, 81.25 degrees. Time of this recording is 1.48 UTC on the 3rd of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. Always like to hear your comments and answer any questions you have, and listen to any suggestions you might have for making improvements on this podcast always trying to make improvements and look at different perspectives on this very, very dynamic system. So you can send all of those to the email show. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.